And I think the dangerous person in this world for yourself is yourself. Yeah. I was really dangerous to me and yeah. to other people. And uh, so you're crying out to God. This yeah, is just yeah, new, just, new cries. Yeah. Yes. And I cried <laughs> to him and he began. And sometimes I could feel he's hanging me, you know, mm -hmm. hugging me, hugging. I could even feel like, thank you for hugging me now. And uh, oh. <laughs> I think no one had this relationship with Jesus like I had, because I spent a lot of time mm -hmm. reading Bible every morning, like wake up and seeking God, seeking mm -hmm. God. And um, I think I found him uh, at some point. I couldn't understand him, who is he? But every time, my every prayer, he was, it seems to me like he was waiting, like yeah. if I would like eat enough from him, like, yeah, eat more, eat more. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I'll talk to you later. Just cry out to me, eat more from me. And uh, he was, he became my best friend. Mm. It's amazing. Um, it's like when I think about the story uh, of my wife, actually, she's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> when I think about the story of my wife and thinking about that people, visiting the prison mm. i think god he is always trying to find the faithful people around that's right to send them to mm. these kind of girls that mm. really in need sometimes we like hey i i don't have enough money i don't have enough knowledge i don't ha even have enough friends that can help me to do really good thing mm. but god he, ha he can give everything mm if you just give that first step. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm, I'm thinking about that people that came from the United States all of the way from California to visit that girls in the prison, mm -hmm. every week visiting them, preaching the gospel, making that games so they can memorize that verses and verses start to work inside of them. And then, then they paid lots of money to government to release these a few girls from the prison to give them education to give them future yeah it's it you know i mean i think your point is well taken that uh we can diminish uh, in our own minds the way that god is able to use us yeah and God doesn't call us because we're able. He calls us because he's able. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And what he asks of us is willingness. Mm -hmm. And uh, people who are willing can be empowered by God mm -hmm. to do things that are way beyond anything they could ask, yeah. ask or imagine. Yeah. And I think there are millions of believers who say, oh, I don't know if God can use me. Hmm. I don't think, like you say, I haven't been to seminary. I don't know the Bible yeah. that well. Mm -hmm. And um, my, I had an aunt named Catherine who is a dear, sweet believer. She didn't know theology at all. She just loved God and loved his word. And she lived in a small community. And when she died, that whole community showed up at her funeral. Oh. And there was story after story yeah. after story of the impact that she had in, in people's lives. Wow. Because she took Jesus with her everywhere she mm. went. Yeah. And she talked about Jesus everywhere she was. And um, you wouldn't have thought that she had that kind of impact. Yeah. She was just the wife of a farmer but she carried the Lord with her wherever she went. And she was kind and loving and helpful and God used her in such an amazing way. And as her relatives, we were blown away at her funeral at the stories we were hearing, wow. at the impact of this lady's life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 